So make a shared diary. Catch it. Oh, I'll put the microphone on. Put the microphone on. The 119 machine you can see to man in the badger. Who needs more power on the mini twin? I do. We felt he let himself down. He let me down. He just let a lot of people down. We were disappointed. It was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I'm surprised he's been allowed back, to be honest. Good morning, Megashed Diaries, 13th of October 24. This is the final round of the Mallory Park Emra uh, series. Uh, today, first time ever, I've brought two bikes with me. Um, so I've got the uh, here on the Mini Twin. It's the SB650 and I've also got my CBR125 uh, which they allow, they run in the it's this GP80 to 450 class along with uh, classic era bikes. So I um, thought it was just going to be me and David Harley but um, it, they've also got a, a load of people come down from uh, Preston so it's the ultra lightweight series 125. Um, so it's a bit scary on track because we've got about 12 horsepower and there's everybody else with up to about 100. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, difficulty is though, um, they're back-to-back -back races. So I've got to do every session, I've got to do session on that one, come back into the pit paddock and jump straight on another bike. But fortunately I've got a friend here who's helping me so he's going to be able to take tie warmers off, swap the transponder and stuff. Fingers crossed it'll go well. I'll probably stick the camera on one of the bikes so uh, we can, you can see what it looks like. Anyway, needs to go to noise testing now. Uh, I'm going to get my leathers on. Not racing for, for another couple of hours. It is about five degrees here, but the nice thing is it is sunny and dry. So cold. I've got um, a slick R. I've got sort of an intermediate tire on the front of the 125, which is uh, better for colder conditions. Mega shed out for now. Mega Shed Diary roundup after qualifying. I'm just looking at the times on my phone. So that was interesting. Jumping from a 72 horsepower Mini Twin, literally straight onto a 125 with 12 horsepower. <laughs> but um, after that, uh, looking at the uh, qualifying, I'll put some picture up. I'll put some picture up here as usual um, of the times. But um, I am ninth out of ten for Mini Twins. Uh, tracks are really cold. Uh, I think I could go quicker, um, but I'm f close to a few other riders, or several around 103. And uh, I was uh, 1033. Uh, Paul Evans just in front of me, 1033 as well. So if uh, we, you know, if I'm in the mix, that'll be good. Um, and for the uh, 125s, let's look at that. Um, so I was there. Are, open class bikes and uh, stock bikes and I'm on a stock one and I managed 117.6 so I was just in front of, in front of Denise Lawson 118.8 but um, the next bike in front of me is a Suzuki and they you know they've got at least a one horsepower more out of the box and there's uh, two set two and a half seconds ahead well I did find that I was uh, running out of revs so I've changed my gearing to make the gearing slightly longer I've gone from a 1444 to 1546 so I'll see if I'm going any quicker but um, hopefully I'll be able to stay with someone and have a bit of a battle
and the chap who runs the ultra chip he who runs the ultra lightweight class uh, for these bikes uh, which i haven't actually entered any this year um, at the big tracks so he's just come over and had a chat to me to say oh i should have entered my uh, tune motor because there's only three or four people in that i would have been in a shout for a for a trophy but anyway we'll see see what happens at the end of the day um i'm sticking the camera on the bike and we'll um i can only i can only record one race so i'm not sure I'll, i think i'll do the um the mini twin race first mega shout out so round up after race one both races because they were back to back uh sb650 race i had the camera on it but it's going to be pretty boring because uh i managed to overtake the guy in front of me off the line and then he stayed behind me for the whole race and everyone else cleared off um, I should have put the camera on the other bike, so on the 125, I'm having a bit of struggle getting off the line and bogging out the corners. Um, I think it might be the cold weather, I've just made a little adjustment to the carb uh, needle, uh, but we'll see in the next race. Um, but um, I uh, got overtaken by David Harley, um, I managed to get past, um, past him around Gerrard's, then he passed me into the Edwina's, and then I thought, I'm not having that. so going into the hairpin thought I'm not letting you out break him I was alongside <laughs> break break into the hairpin um, went past David and then uh, hit uh, Denise Lawson who was in front of him um, so uh <laughs> She's just recovering from having a quite a bad uh, break of the humorous. So I was like, oh no, I've taken her out. But she just says, uh, she carried on. She just felt something hit her in the leg and then uh, she just went a bit wide and carried on. So I went over the handlebars and uh, I've had to go to the med center, but I'm absolutely fine. And also I had the bike re scrutiny is just not really any damage. Just a bit of a scuff here. Handlebars were bent in, we put them back out and uh, most of it was taken on my big old crash bun here. So, um, not, nothing dented but my pride. Um, so hopefully I'll do a bit better in the next race. Make a shout out. round up after the final round of Mallory Park Emra racing uh, mini twin uh, so race two uh, I might be because I'd finished ahead of Paul Evans so I managed to beat him in the first race I started ahead of him so I got a good start stayed in front of him and he chased me all the way and then uh, <coughs> one of well, I don't know which lap it was but um, maybe f six or seven laps in um, I missed the gear coming out of the devil's elbow and got a bad drive on at the start finish straight and then he took his opportunity to go uh, go past me into Gerrard's and then I chased him around for the rest rest of the race where our lap times I'll put them up but the um, fastest laps were like 0 0.01 of a second difference uh, best lap so yeah, I had a good battle with him um, and there oh, so uh, what was I eighth out of ten no ninth out of ten in that but 
never mind. I uh, enjoyed it. And then for uh, the other race, the um, 125, so it was in GP80 to 450. Um, because I'd crashed in race one, I had to start from like 27th, and I thought oh, I'm not going to be anywhere near the sort of my competitors. Um, but I managed to catch up with uh, David Harley, who's uh, winning the championship uh, here because he's, he's been every round. Uh, and we had a really good battle and I actually had the camera on so we should say so he was slipstreaming. I managed to get past him and then he was slipstreaming me all of the way, diving, trying to dive up the inside into the hairpin, nearly got me on the last lap and then uh, I just, it looks, I've just, I've just uh, finished like half a second ahead of him in the final race. So that put me, what, um, fifth in class, but that's over all of the 125s. So there was a tuned Honda in front of me and then three Suzukis, which are probably stuck. So I'm quite pleased with that after all. So um, that's it for this year. Um, there may be um, a free tech race in Spain. It's hanging in the balance at the moment. But um, if, we, if we end up going, then I'll do a bit of a vlog for that. Uh, mega shout out. The goal, starting from 27th. See how good my commentary skills are. Oh, obviously some people fell off in the first race. On the faster bikes than I are. Uh, well, a good thing from starting with the 27th is that I get to catch up slower riders. It makes me look good if I pass them. There's the first one. There's some novice 125 riders out there. Uh, John Pearson, Daniel Pearson's dad, looking over his wrong shoulder there, and uh, he's, I'm, I'm, learning, I'm learning about slipstreaming. Outbreaking there. I'm thinking I'm going to get, I'm going to be nowhere in this race, starting from 27th. I wanted to catch up uh, David Harley, but I thought I'm figuring he's uh, going to be far too far ahead by the time I get to him. Absolutely flat out round Gerrard's. Sixth gear, throttle pinned. Maybe 75 miles an hour. I'm starting to catch another bike. She's making me look quite good. chance for slipstreaming again here. I'm not sure who the rider is, I might have to look it up afterwards. Maybe put on the screen on the, the title. Oh, he seems to be at the edge of me in Gerard's. Let's see if I can outbreak him into the um, into the Edwina. Queen's chicane. Well, I made up a few bike lengths. I'm thinking oh, I'll do them on the brakes of the hairpin. Slipstreaming a bit. 
Oh yes, yeah. Maybe gone a bit wide at the hairpin, but I made up a position. Oh, and what's that? Lap two, and I'm already being lapped by someone on a bike that's got five, six times the horsepower, and he's gone. And this is why I won't be doing this race again. Oh, there's another one. This is why I won't be entering this class again. It's just silly having bikes that'll do 120 up the straight when we can only do 70. So I think that dot in the distance is David Harley. I know I'm usually just a little bit quicker than him. And he thinks that there's no one going to catch him. So let's see what happens. He's comfortable. He's won the championship. Nobody in front he's expecting to catch. And he thinks nobody behind either. See if I can get in behind him and slip stream. Oh, there's another bike doing double last speed. That way. Um, I wasn't expecting that either. So he uh, saw me, went quicker through Edwina's, and he's back in front. And I'm thinking, I'm not having that. I managed to make up that many seconds on you, I should be able to beat you. His serums. Slipping his clutch there, um, and I think he does it here as well. Slipping his clutch like an old school two stroke racer. I think you should shorten your gear in there. Really. Managed to get a slipstream on him, on him, out of the devil's elbow, passed up the straight. I'm now thinking he's done me through Edwin was on the last lap. I need to uh, carry a bit more speed the next time. Too many gears that time. That's the third gear on this bike, not two, second.
Well, I can hear David Harley's slipping his clutch and revving behind me, so I can. I know he's still right behind me. God, what do I need to do? Actually, lapping a couple of 125 bikes there. Pin for the last time. Seems a short race, this. I don't remember. I think it was uh, shortened due to red flags earlier, but it didn't seem like it was 10 laps it was meant to be. I still hear David Harley behind me. And. A checkered flag! And we have finished only about a half a second ahead of David Harley. I've seen that that's he'd gone the fastest he'd gone in the last two years chasing me. So that's what he needed. Now, oh, well, that's it for uh, Ember Racing uh, Mega Shed Diaries for this season. Mega Shed out.